guys, welcome back to another episode of Bogan Bushcraft. So we're doing something special today, something a bit different. I'm going to be doing a hungy, something that I've wanted to try for a very, very, very long time. So yesterday I come and I dug a big trench and a big hole and um, right now I'll just show you the process that I'm doing. So I've currently filled up the pit with wood and I've got a few iron um, bars down there that I've picked up. Um, so I'm going to get the fire cranking, get that all lit, and then um, I'm going to also chuck a whole bag of uh, weather coals in there as well, um, just to give it a bit of a boost. I'm just going to be using some uh, bat wood and some fire starters. Awesome day to be out, guys. So, while I'm waiting for my fire to burn down, I'm just going to do a few things. So, I'll just show you what vegetables I'm going to be cooking in my hungy tonight. Today, I should say. Uh, there's things like cabbage, um, pumpkin, potatoes, kumara. Um, I have these little aluminium tins, which I'm going to load up with my meat and then I'll put like vegetables and stuff all around it but um, we'll cut this up, we'll get to it Alright, to begin with, let's get these Coomera cut up So Coomera is notorious for being quite hard That's what she said! <laughs> I'm just going to dice these into little bits and load them into my tin So I'm just leaving the skins on I'm not too sure which one's sweeter. We'll find out. So these potatoes are quite good because they came out of my garden. So I'm quite stoked about that. Alright, so that's my potatoes and my kumara cut up. So it's now to cut up my pumpkin. So what I'll do with this is I'll cut the the skin off on this. I'm a bit paranoid because <laughs> when I um, came here yesterday and I um, started digging my hole, I, dig, I dug one hole and everything was looking good until I hit a hollow part and I was wondering what it was and as I dug deeper I realised it was a wasp nest and um, I was kind of swarmed a little bit and a couple of them got down my shirt and um, stung me repeatedly on my stomach, under my arm, on my bloody side, on my back and so every time I hear something now I'm kind of freaking out that it's going to be another wasp so if I move suddenly that's why. Okay, so let's take out these bits here because we don't want that. So cut up your pumpkin, however you, way you like it. I'm going to cut it quite big because, like I say, this is going to be a long cook. So now it's time to cut up the cabbage. So I've seen a few people uh, with their hungies, they've actually used cabbage leaves to line the meat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save a few of these leaves uh, and just give it a try. Um, so we'll save some of this, some of these leaves, and uh, we'll wrap some of the meat in it. Um, but just remember guys, I haven't done this before. Uh, this is all a new learning process for me. This is something I've really wanted to try. Um, I've always loved hungies. Uh, 
I think that they're, they're, they're an amazing way to cook. I think that they taste great. Um, but I haven't had the guts to actually try it myself, so that's that's what this channel's all about. I'm I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. I just really want to show you that it, you don't have to be afraid of anything. You can really just experiment. And um, sometimes it goes wrong. Sometimes it it goes right. And this is what this is all about. It's learning. And you're never too old to learn. Guys, so I've cut up all my vegetables now, but uh, I am going to, I bought some uh, herbs from home, so I am going to garnish these with some herbs. With the potatoes, I'm going to do some mint potatoes, so I, I pulled some mint from the garden, and I'm going to chuck some mint in with these, give them a bit of flavour. I'm going to save some because I've also got some lamb neck chops, so save some mint for that. I'm going to do some thyme on the turmeric. I'll save, I've got some rosemary here, I'll save that for the pork and the, the other bits. I've got some thyme here which I'm going to chuck on the pork as well. Um, so we've got some mint, lamb, uh, we've got some mint, some thyme and some rosemary to go on our lamb and pork. So those are ready to go. Looking pretty good. That's what I was cranking. Just chuck some coals on to get them heated up. Alright guys, so I'm just down at the river and I've just put my my sacks into the water just to start getting a bit wet. Because I'm going to put these over the food. Um, yeah, I'm going to put these wet sacks over the food so it acts like a, a pressure cooker. So now it's time to get the meat done. So I've got myself here some lamb neck chops. So I'm just using uh, just a, an average rib rocker seasoning. I'm going to give these a coat. Okay. And I'm also going to chuck some of those mint pieces in there with that. Okay, so that's my lamb done. So I got myself here some wild, pull, uh, wild pork. So this is a rolled pork leg, and I got that from Premium Meats down in Blenheim. going to wrap this with some cabbage. So I'll put my cabbage leaves in here. Put that in there. And then I'm also going to sprinkle it with some seasoning. Okay, a little bit of time with my lamb. I'm going to wrap it with a little bit of cabbage. And that's the same as what I'm going to do with the lamb. So I've got this last little bit of cabbage leaf here. And I'm just going to wrap that around the top. So, there you have it guys. I'm all ready to go. I'm going to get um, check on that fire and then we'll chuck all of this in my cage. And then we'll chuck it in the ground. Alright guys, so my fire is almost ready. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start layering this. So I'm going to chuck my meat there, the meat on there. Okay, and then I'm going to start chucking my veggies here. Now is the moment of truth. It's time to start wrapping this. 
chuck this into the fire. I'm going to cover it with some wet sacks. Alright, now I'll just set a timer for three and a half hours. How's it going guys, welcome back. So I'm about three hours in, um, actually no, I put it in at 1.15, it's now 4.38. So I'll wait until 5.15 and that will give me four hours cooking time. Um, I just felt the ground and uh, we're still hot so that's a good sign, I'm, uh, I'm pleased with that. I'll come back to you in about... 30 minutes and we'll start digging that up. Whoa, it's smelling good, man. I was, I was not, um, uh, let me say I was not, um, too convinced that this would work. So, that kept its heat. That's amazing. Yeah, for the moment of truth. Let's, uh, take this off. Let's check out some of this veggies. Oh, get me knife. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's ready. Get out of it. Get out of it. Oh, the cabbage is completely good. Look at that. Awesome. Potatoes. Looking good. Oh, smells good. And then we've got the. Oh, look at that. Oh man, that's completely cooked. So now it's time to give it the gratuitous B-roll footage. Right, guys, cheers for coming. Let's give it a go, eh? Oh, man. Oh, this is the best decision I've ever made. Alright guys, so I've finished my dinner now. Cheers for sticking around. Uh, if you've got this far, make sure that you give the video a big like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Yeah, I am I'm pleasantly surprised with how my, my first ever hungy turned out. So yeah, cheers for coming guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, eh?